Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you very much for being on Electrica. I appreciate that. Now, uh, I have a pump before me. And the reason why I have a pump before me, uh, I want to show you uh, how to reverse this pump. Yeah, maybe you think that it's not possible, uh, but it is. You can reverse it for some reason. You have your own reason why you would want to reverse it. It's a pump, but it's a motor. You can use it for uh, other purposes to run anything. It's long as the load doesn't exceed uh, its specification. Okay? All right. So, normally, when they come, they because they are single phase motors capacitor run they are connected they are always in forward direction okay but as i said earlier if you really need to reverse it you can okay so first of all uh, i will show you if we can we can run it runs in forward direction okay now that is forward direction so i need us to go to the board i show you uh, some few you know uh Paths such that you're able to know uh, if you're ready to do it. Okay, let's get to the board first. Now that we are on the board, let us, you know, see a few things. Okay, all right. Now we have these two circuits here. Okay, now these one are giving us, uh, you know, are showing us how we are able to, you know, to reverse the, our motor because normally it's in forward direction. Okay, now uh, usually you'll have. Uh, uh, a pump or a motor like that and then you have three wires that are popping out okay and in these three wires normally they will be color coded so you have a, a, a brown or a red then you have a blue and you have a black uh, re really uh, polarity in, a, in electrical sometimes doesn't really matter but there are some instances where really you have to 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 follow it okay uh, yes that's why you see that he always will indicate which is live, which is neutral. So you cannot put a neutral in the fuse, you, you know, you understand. So you must, you must always like uh, fuse the live, okay? So things of that nature. Now we have these three wires here. Now, first of all, all the motors on forward, you know, uh, forward direction, you find that the capacitor is connected between the red and the blue wires, okay? And then that's where your live is connecting, okay? And then you have the black wire uh, f uh, uh, connected to the neutral, okay? So that way, your motor will run in four direction like the way I was showing you earlier, all right? Now, when we go to, to reverse, to reverse, okay? The same thing, we have three wires here. The capacitor is already connected here. So the only things which you have to do is to, you know, to change the connection from red to brown. The neutral, this black wire, you just leave it like that okay you don't change it mm. so it's not that you're going to change between uh, a neutral and a live no this is one phase uh, live and neutral even if you swap a neutral the, so long as the, uh, this is connected in the same way the motor will just run in the same direction okay but when you're changing you must make sure that uh, you're playing between these two terminals of the capacitor this side and this side because typically, uh, somehow, uh, uh, the capacitor mimics another phase, okay? So that's the reason why you should do that. So I hope you understand that. That is a, a, just a simple circuit to show you how this really works. So if you can just uh, pause the video and then, you know, you, you draw it, then you go and try it out. It will work for you. So let us get the table and uh, see if we really change uh, that this to this we can achieve a reverse direction for our motor okay all right so let's get to the table okay uh let's now open this guy here and then see 
what happened is, okay? Okay, now, uh, basing on uh, what I showed you on the board earlier, so we have a capacitor here, uh, we have three wires that are popping out, uh, which is black, brown, blue, uh, yes. So, we have our capacitor that is connected, okay, uh, between, you know, between uh, brown and blue, okay, or red and blue, all right, yeah. And then we have a neutral, uh, which is alone, and is you can connect it to a neutral, okay? Right now, in this sequence, our motor can really run in forward direction. So, uh, because I'm not, uh, you know, uh, in the right uh, direction of the camera, so, uh, but you can still really tell, so this is forward direction. So, if you turn this motor, this is uh, what you're seeing me doing, it's for direction, and then this is a reverse, okay? So direction away from me, all, all right? So this is forward, this is a reverse. So let me show you. So you're able to see that this motor is running in forward direction. Four direction okay so it goes like this all right now let us change the direction as per we saw on the on the board you must make sure that it's off and you ensure that this capacitor is uh, uh, discharged so now what we are gonna do is we are just going to so since this is uh, our live wire so we're just going to move this to this side, okay? So guys, you have to make sure that your power is off completely. When you're doing this, you have to take precaution why are you doing anything with this electricity here, okay? So now we can tighten back this wire very well. Okay. Now, we've not touched the neutral, which is connecting here. So we are just going to bring this wire and connect it this side on the blue, okay? Exactly the same thing we did on the board. All right, now we have already uh, changed our, you know, uh, brown wire, the live, to the blue wire, okay? So we're able now to, uh, to run uh, this thing here, then we see if it has changed the direction really, okay? you're able to tell 
that he has changed the direction. Okay? So you're able to tell that he has changed the direction uh, very, very well. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. If uh, that's what you've been looking for, it's there, right there.